Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. I'm Mr. Rishi and in this video we are going to be going over part three of our team building guide. We are going to be going over team testing and iterations. Without further ado, let's get right into things. Step one is to practice the team. The easiest way is probably to go on ladder or to do scrims. You may want to find a scrim partner who can give you feedback or may be able to get feedback from another experienced player just by asking. How do you tell if a team is good when practicing it? Try to stick with a team for 10 plus games at the minimum, with only minimal changes. This means replace one slot or tem at worst, and otherwise try to tweak only gears, moves, and TVs. A lot of people throw in the towel after just a couple of bad games before even fully understanding how to best pilot their own team. For example, failing at pick ban is a common struggle for inexperienced players, and it may make the team feel worse than it actually is. Take a screenshot of your final pick ban before each game and then review it later. Analyze if you could have made better choices during this step that may have affected you in your gameplay. Once you do that, you should keep track of the following things. Are you consistently running into some common TEM combinations that make pick ban difficult? If so, it's possible that you didn't fully understand the meta when building your team or didn't fully take in consideration the meta. Are you consistently not picking the same TEM or TEMs during pick ban? If so, it may be time to replace that slot. Do you consistently feel like you don't have good options when picking your first two TEMs? Or that when you pick your first two TEMs, they often can't output enough pressure or even set up when facing your enemy's lead slash their first two TEMs? That could indicate that your core is either lacking cohesiveness or lacks the power needed to face the current meta. Do you consistently feel like you don't have good options when picking up your last couple of TEMs? This could be many things. Maybe those TEMs are high risk, high reward, and you knew that going in, or your team has a type chart issue. Maybe those slots are made redundant by the rest of your team, or you were expecting problems that are different from the ones you are actually encountering. Are you constantly finding yourself relying on one temp to carry the whole game only to lose, even if it's a different temp each time? This probably isn't an indication that the temps are problematic. Instead, it is likely that they are overburdened. Consider replacing another temp on your squad that you can split the responsibilities for. Are you playing to your custom team's strengths and finding it underwhelming, even though you felt that the team is really cohesive? Try to copy another person's team that has already been proven as reliable. How does your team compare? Do you think your original team can gain as much, if not more, momentum or value than the standard stuff? If not, know that sometimes cool ideas don't work out as planned. Now, these are some common mistakes that new players make when adjusting their teams which include, but are not limited to, being too reactionary trying to adjust their team. I've seen many people remove everything that makes their team cohesive slash appealing just to be anti-meta. Your goal should be to build a team that is good into other good teams, even if what your opponent is building isn't mainstream. The moment your cohesive and meta spiting reactionary teams fights a non-standard good team, your team will crumple. Being judgmental about TEMs on how they look or based on how popular they are and refusing to try them out on a team is a huge no-no. You'd be surprised how common this is. A lot of people find this mindset frustrating and will actively undermine your ability to improve yourself. Let go of your pride. And lastly, making a potentially viable team only to immediately drop it because they had another cool idea they wanted to chase. This muddies the waters because you will be trying to learn how to pilot two teams at once. And although I do not think that's a bad idea to chase every idea you get, I do think that you want to try to stick to one team and perfect it or at least learn how to pilot it, especially when you're first beginning. And that's all for this video. Thank you everyone so much for watching all the way through. It really helps my channel grow. Make sure to hit that sub and like button if you want to see more of this content. I put a lot of time and effort. I'll be, again, leaving the links to everyone or if at least their names or their discord in the description who helped me out on this project hope it helped you guys out and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace